Right, hi. Um, I haven't got a class for two weeks, can you tell? I'm not bored as such, but I'd rather be doing this than housework. <laughs> so, housework will come later today, I promise you, I will do it. But what I want you to say, or what I want you to do, first of all, I'm on my ironing board. So you haven't, you're not, you haven't got vertigo, it's wobbly, it's not you, it's the ironing board. Um, I just love this, falling a little bit more in love with it all the time and I've got a feeling it's going to be one of those I can't bear to part with. Um, I've added more since you last saw it, when it was on my blog it only had those two things on it and now it's got all this going on and I love these little pockets in here. But I was thinking last night, I could finish this as it is, <coughs> excuse me, I could do something up here and then just finish it, make it into a pillow or whatever. But it's crying out for more to me. It's crying out to be more of a statement or have more of a function to be better used and better handled and more likely to be picked up and put down. So I this is I think it's gonna be one of those I can't bear to part with. Um <clears throat> so a pouch. So I'm wondering how to extend it to add fabric to it so that I can make it big enough to be a useful pouch. I did consider this, this is still ongoing adding this but I'm not sure about the spotty fabric I think what I would like to do is have more of this added with some of this pink um, I don't really want to use the green I just want to use the pink so I'm, what I'm just going to do today is pin some stuff on here it was damn stretched last night and I took my pictures this is my pouch that I keep my white cloths in and my broderie on glaze um, I've taken pictures already, let's hope that they're okay because handling it now might cause it to crease. So, <coughs> extend it this way, or I think I'll extend it that way actually, because that is now a straight line, okay. Um, this needs infilled here, but if I extend it this way, then I could do something that comes across the join to integrate it all. And then I'm thinking, right, what I'll do is I'll iron a bit of fabric first. Because um, what I am thinking is I may need to also extend it that way at some point to make it quite square. So move that away. I don't ever want to iron on that. This is my new iron that I bought for London. This is my, just my, I've never used it before. Why isn't it working? Because it was on lower setting. I'll have to wait for it to heat up. I've never used it yet. Somebody used it in London on the day and I've never actually used it. So let me just <clears throat> try cut this first while the iron's heating up. Two weeks without a class. To do how well, to give people a chance to sign up I suppose, but also to give me a bit of a breathing space to get more things moved forward and to uh, <coughs> get some long neglected housework done. But I didn't realise how much I would miss doing the videos. Right, so with that, I can't decide whether to just have a simple join or I mean, the pattern's disturbed, the pattern isn't matching, that doesn't bother me. Or should I put something in there? What I might do, actually, if I pin this, what I'm thinking is, I could do something wonderful on this seam, says she, but like a ple tiny appliques or something from there to there, but then do this over here to extend it on. I think I've got some, if you just bear with me a second, I think I've got some templates cut out for those. If I just go and get them, I won't be a minute. No, I'm sorry I haven't, I can't find them. Um, I thought I did, I thought I'd cut some out yesterday, but never mind. 
But what I'm thinking is I could have another one of these here. So the circle thing could come here and I could have a petal there and then a petal across that seam and a petal down there and that'll balance it out and I can build it up that way. So if I pin this on here now, what will happen? Don't worry about the fact that this looks short here because that would be cut off anyway. Um, that's just the raw edge. Doesn't matter about that. So if I pin that along there, I like, I actually like that the pattern's not matching up. And I'm going to pin another bit the other way. But then that's going to affect the pattern that way, isn't it? So maybe I won't pin that bit there yet. If I turn it around and then get more fabric. I'm running out of this fabric and I can't find any more. I'm getting so frustrated trawling the internet looking for nice broderie on glares. It's almost impossible. So if I say to there, it's easy to cut this out because it's uh, linear. So even somebody like me can do it without messing it up. And by nice broderie on glaze, I mean that's the right kind of weight. Don't want it too thick. Um, I don't want any shiny stuff in it. I want it just matte. You know what I mean? Um, Getting very, very tedious looking for it, I can tell you, but I'm going to continue later today actually. Seeing as I've got nothing to do, no classes to do. I press this now. Now, tonight I'm hoping to progress my silk pouch with blue. Um, Hopefully, because that's quite new to completion actually, I messed that up there. Right, so if I put that there, I mean there's nothing to stop me. I'm really attracted to these. Perhaps when I've done that, that I was talking about here, this could be completely separate, differently embellished insofar as I love these little pockets. Could maybe have a row of those up here. That might be the way to go. And then I'll have another pouch myself. Um, I don't know, I think it's for myself. I'll decide near the time. But I'm never going to earn a living if I can just keep everything on my... But no, I really, really like this. Well, I mean, I really, really like everything. But this is asking me to keep it. It's telling me... I think probably because it's very different to my other pouches, that'll be what it is. Um, but watch this space and I might make more for the shop. So there. So that's what's going to happen then. So here... There's going to be tiny little pink appliques up there on that seam, okay? And then here, we're going to have the petals again. And then over here, possibly some more of these. And then along here, I think we're going to have a row of little pockets like that. And that'll give me good practice for making pockets for my pocket class. Um, so, yeah, so that's... Thank you for listening to me. Um... I like to make videos, what can I say, I'm addicted now, it's like habit, it's habitual, it's like um, I need to join videos anonymous, if I don't make a video at least once a day, I feel like I haven't done anything, so there, okay.